Uh, thank you very much, George. So I'm going to be doing something slightly different from all the science talks I've heard earlier. I'm going to be discussing whether or not greed is good. So firstly, just to make things clear, greed is defined in the Oxford Dictionary as an intense and selfish desire for something, especially wealth, power, or food. So if we start looking at the origin of greed, we have the seven deadly sins. These are sins that apparently consign themselves to eternal damnation that destroy any the chance of grace. And there are seven sins. Wrath, lust, envy, gluttony, sloth, pride, and not least, greed. Now, if you look at the seven sins, there does seem to be a common trend throughout. We look at lust, envy, gluttony, Greed. These are all different manifestations of greed. So, as I mentioned earlier, these are considered completely sinful against the human soul, and greed makes up a large part of us. So, greed can be seen as this horrific, terrible act that must be avoided at all costs. However, as time goes on, this view has been more frequently challenged. In 1987 film, Wall Street, was perhaps most famously done. I'll be showing you a short clip. However, this is 
quite a minor issue. These men didn't die, they managed to live on their lives. However, greed can cause problems on a much wider scale, through we get another example, say, the Gulf War. This is a much more serious issue, obviously, as many were killed, many incidents. It was caused by the greed of Iraq in the first place. They believed that Kuwait was part of their territory, and they believed that Kuwait was overcharging them for their oil. They were not the only greedy ones in this situation. Saudi Arabia, fearing their oil, requested the U US to intervene. One could say that the US intervened purely to save the innocent Kuwait civilians from those horrific uh, members of the Iraqi regime with their horrific human rights record. However, this is basically a lie. They went to Kuwait oil, as shown by the fact that they only went from Saudi Arabia requested them. And also, they lied to the general public. For example, the Pentagon issued images which showed that Iraqi build up of forces. However, these were falsified. Soviet satellites showed that there was blank desert, as should be. Uh, a Kuwait individual lied to the US Congress, saying that Iraq soldiers were pulling children out of incubators. And obviously, I'm completely against Iraq. But this is a situation where politicians, people who should be serving the general public, were forced by greed to lie. I mean, one could argue that these American politicians were acting in the best interest of their country. However, in ensuring that the oil supplies remained in abundance, they were just ensuring the continuation of the American dream, which is basically a hedonistic lifestyle fueled by excess. So, obviously these examples are very negative. So, is greed ever good? I believe that the positive aspects of greed can be summed up, for want of a better word, as ambition. Because there's a line between ambition and greed. Ambition is defined as an earnest desire for some type of achievement or distinction, as power, honour, fame or wealth, and the willingness to strive for its attainment. Which doesn't sound too bad. When I say ambition, I mean not only ambition for the furtherment of yourself, but ambition for the furtherment of the human race, of collective humanity. To drive ourselves and one another forward, seeking perfection, which I don't believe is great. This ambition is something that is missing in our modern society. We see it as a dog-eat-dog -dog world, us versus them, and I completely agree that competition can drive each other forward. However, we really should be working in tandem, and I believe that green competition should serve as nothing more than a fuel for our ambition. Thank you very much.